Hi, my name is Steve Millich. I'm the founder of Pyara, and I'm going to do a very, very quick video of downloading uh, Pyara Server and showing you how you then create a Hello World RESTful web service using NetBeans. So the video will be quick because this is a very quick process. So the first thing you need to do is go to the Pyara website. So the downloads is here. And the download you want uh, for RESTful web services, for well, most people want is the full download. So if we just click on that, and I'll save that. So that won't take long to come down. So the, the full download is the standard Pyora server with all the administration console, uh, and it supports uh, building RESTful web services using Java EE APIs. You can also download Pyora Micro, which is our microservices version. Uh, and we also have on here Pyora Blue, which is for uh, IBM AIX and IBM JDK. We also have previous builds that you can download from. So basically, Pyora is uh, released every quarter. So we have builds going back for the various versions for the various quarters. So now we've downloaded Pyora. I'll basically extract that into my home directory. And that, that's that done. So if you go to NetBeans, so NetBeans uh, supports Pyora server as a Glassfish server. So if we go to services, in NetBeans, go to servers. Let's add a currently newly downloaded server. Uh, NetBeans will see it as a Glassfish server as Pyora is derived from Glassfish, but let's call our server Pyora server. Uh, this is where it'll have been extracted. So in my home directory in Pyora 4.1. Hit next there, you can see that it has looked in the server installation and detected two domains. So let's use the Pyara domain, finish. So let's we will start that up. Let's start it in debug mode because we want to do some development work. So if I start that in debug, you can see the start server starts up. And the server's been basically up in, in a few seconds. And we should be able to see the administration console. There we go. So this is the administration console of the latest release of Pyara server. So what we're going to do is create a new RESTful web service in NetBeans. So NetBeans has very good support for uh, web services, uh, RESTful services. So let's go into NetBeans, create a new project. Let's call it, let's do a web application. Let's do it getting started. We're going to target it to Pyora server. The version will be Java E7. That's context path is fine. So let's do that. We don't need any of these frameworks. And let's finish. So we have a basic skeleton web application. And what we're going to add into that is a RESTful web service. So if we go to new RESTful web service from patterns, we'll do a simple root resource. I'm assuming you know what RESTful web services are. Uh, let's call our, let's give it a package for our class, fish.pyara.examples, and let's call our class. Getting started resource. And the path of that RESTful web service will be hello. We'll output JSON and we'll read output a string. So we finish that. I, uh, NetBeans generates the boilerplate code for the RESTful JAXRS application config. And it also has created our resource on the path hello. And we, as we uh, have a get producing JSON, this is a method that we need to put out hello world on. So let's not throw out unsupported operation exception, but return hello world. So 
And what we now want to do is run that file. Oh, can't run it that way. What we'll do is we'll test that. Test RESTful Web Services. So uh, NetBeans will generate a test application as well. So if we do test RESTful Web Services, test it in our project, and it'll basically embed. It'll add, add a bunch of things. But uh, go back to NetBeans. It adds a bunch of code actually into the application. Obviously, you don't, probably don't want to do this on your production applications. Uh, but that application that it embeds gives you a test a test sort of web app here so that's our service we have we can choose the method you want to let's test get test that and we see we get hello world simple as that so we could also basically if you want to see that in the you know normal browser we can see we get hello world there as well so See, as you can see, from download to RESTful Web Services, very short period of time. So just as a last step, let's show how you would debug this. So let's put a breakpoint there. And let's just uh, debug. You can see that NetBeans has got all the threads that are running in PyR server. Let's go to our RESTful Web Service again, hit test, and there we are. We basically hit our breakpoint. Run that through. You can also see that the application uh, is deployed within the PyRA server from the NetBeans console. So that's about that's about wraps it up. So you can see how quick it is and easy it is to take PyRA server download and develop on it in NetBeans. Uh, it's a very good combination to use, very good way of getting started. So thank you for your time.